welcome to Artistic Adventures. Today we're going to finish up our Easy Doll Diorama project with part three, where we add all the decorations that we've made and then pose the dolls in the room to show you how it can be used for photographs. Let's get started. So here's our di diorama that we built in the last video. And after playing with a little bit, I think I'm going to leave that movable side on there. It really seems to be needed for this particular size. All right, the first thing we're going to do is to use the hot glue gun and add some glue to the back of that large window that we made. And then we're just going to glue it on the wall. And you don't want to put it up too high because you want to have some of the wall visible above it when you do photographs. All right, and now I'm taking those little hooks that I made out of the foam and then painted uh, bronze for the carton rod. And I'm going to just glue those right at the top of the window at the level where the rod will come right across the top. And I hope I get these even. hope so. All right, so we got both of those up now. And we can put our little curtain rod in it. And you can make curtains any way you want. You can make them longer. You can make them, you know, with more thick material, any way you want. All right, and now we're hanging our little uh, picture that we made. And same thing, don't put it up too high because you want to make sure that you have plenty of room above it for, photo for the wall to be seen in photographs. And for the smaller window, I'm going to put that over here and I'm using it to help cover up one of the seams in my wallpaper. And then we're going to put the hooks up for that. And after I looked at this video, I realized that I did actually get that one crooked. But I'll, I'll try to fix that a little bit later off camera. And now taking some pink satin ribbon and cut it in four pieces. And just going to tie that to the curtains to pull them back so you can see the window with the picture behind it. And I'm going to do that on all four drapes of these two windows. And that looks pretty cute. So now we've got our windows up and we've got our picture. You can do all kinds of things. You can put shelves up, uh, lots of different decorations that you can make for your diorama. And I'm just going to put my steampunk monster high doll in here to show you the scale. You can see she's almost up to the top of the, well, she is kind of to the top of the window. And here's a Blythe um, pull-up style doll for for your, for you to be able to see what types of dolls you can use in this. All right, now I'm going to show you different ways you can use furniture. And this diorama is appropriate for any probably 11 to 12 inch doll, like Barbie, Monster High, um, even the Blythe or Fashion Royalty. This is a Monster High doll, one of my creations. And remember that little tea set that I found at the thrift store? Well, now I can make use of it. And you can see how this could be a cute little place for your dolls to meet and have a cup of tea. And there's our China doll who really enjoys tea from China. <laughs> All right. So that's one little setting you could do, a table and chairs. And for our next, oh, I forgot, there's my little poodles. Remember those? The, they're little ceramic poodles that I had. And I have that little plant, too, that I'm, I'm using. I do want to make some more things like plants and other decorations for this, but I'll do that a little bit later on. And here's a little chaise lounge. We're going to pose our Monster High doll reclining on that. She even has a little afghan if she wants to put it over her. And we could put a little plant there beside of it. Now I'm posing this just to show you options. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you where I've done photographs where you don't see the outside. All you see is the room and the doll, and that makes it look a lot more realistic. You could just have a doll standing beside some of the furniture. Also, I got these little rugs. I got them from Amazon, just little doll-sized uh, Persian rugs. That's a nice place for our little poodles to sit. See, these little miniatures can really add a lot and just, you know, collect them as you go. You can always find little things at, at thrift stores or flea markets. This is a bench that I bought. Um, it, I think it's a little big for this room. It sort of overwhelms the Monster High doll. I think it's nice for the Blythe doll, but maybe in a, a setting where the room is a little bit larger. 
for some reason, I don't know, this just looks big for this room. So I think the chaise and the chairs are nice and they seem to be a good, a good fit. So here's where I'm just taking photographs and you can't see the outside of the box and it really just looks like a room. That's my Silkstone Barbie to give you some perspective of different sized dolls. A real Barbie would be a little bit smaller than this and Fashion Royalty would be a little bit bigger than this, but still workable. Now back to our Monster High doll in her steampunk costume and she's enjoying a nice cup of tea. So that's the end of our diorama project. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and share. For now, we're going to go back to our doll videos, and I've had some suggestions for a Korean doll and a Victorian or Gothic doll. So we've got those to do, and then also we have to finish up our porcelain boy doll that we started before I had my hand surgery. So we have lots to look forward to. Please subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Thanks, and bye.